Hi everybody, Brent here with Autosport Labs with another demo on the upcoming Race Capture App 2.0 features. So since the last video, we've added a few more widgets basically to bring the new dashboard features up to parity with what you already have in the Race Capture App dashboard. What you have right now are some, you have a number of configurable screens, but the layout of those screens is fixed. So what we added since that last video are some new gauges, notably the raw channels view, the digital gauge, and the time delta. So I'm going to build up a realistic looking dashboard that would be suitable for inside the car. You can configure this the way you want and again we will be providing presets to get you up and going quickly. The presets will look just pretty close to what you have right now in the Race Capture app but then you'll be able to go in and customize them later which will be really cool. So let's add the time delta and uh, right now we're pumping some data through the system from some simulated replay data from Sonoma Raceway. So there is the predictive timer that you are familiar with. So we just drop that at the top of the screen. We could put it at the bottom if you want or right in the middle, but let's put it on the top of the screen so it's kind of like how you had it before. Let's go and add a speed gauge. Let's see, we could put that over here that a little bigger so you don't like the two decimal points well we can fix that so we go into channel select set the precision and we could change the top speed to 120 and there you go now if you want to see what the current predictive time is so we could choose a digital gauge and go down and select predictive time and there is your predictive lap time we're going to put it in the middle resize the gauge and there you go we can also change the color of this gauge and we can do that by just going in and oops predictive time instead of auto selecting the color we can select, well, let's see, maybe we don't want a gauge. Let's just select black so we don't want a background. And there you go. So now we just have this plain old number right there on the screen. So what else do we want? Oh, maybe we want to know what lap we're on. So let's add another digital gauge. And we could say uh, current lap. So there's the current lap, drop that on the screen. And then probably what might be the most controversial gauge. Oh, we're gonna put a track map on the screen. Oh my God. Because you may not be able to, you know, drive and pay attention to the track map, which is a legitimate uh, comment. But for the purposes of showing this demo video, it kind of helps so you can see where you are on the track. Uh, what else do we want? Uh, let's see. Let's put the last lap time. Another digital gauge. And we'll put uh, lap time. This is the last lap time. Move that over here. Kind of put that in the bottom center. Move the current lap up. And there you have it. The uh, controls for the gauge will auto dim and then we'll have a feature to lock the, dis the dashboard display. And there's your race, your race car dashboard. Now maybe I kind of want this a little bit bigger. Let's make that larger. Trying not to go into full Bob Ross mode here with the, the happy little gauges, but I feel like that's what I'm channeling here. All right, so 
There we are. We have a, a larger predictive time gauge. And there, in a couple of minutes, I designed a dashboard for the new race capture app. Now, as I've we've said before, we'll have something that is a, a it's a variation of this, but a, in the form of a preset. We can go and well, let's let's go and remove all of these gauges. Remove gauge and kind of work through that. I'll leave this on the screen for now. See, we don't want the, oops. But let's add, let's add a analog gauge with, oh, battery voltage. I'm just making up stuff now. But this could be like the equivalent of the of the three large gauge. Oh, we don't want that much prominence to battery voltage, so we'll change it back to speed. And then we'll flank it with a couple of other smaller gauges. Uh, let's see. I uh, don't have a lot of data on this particular simulation. I could put the yaw, yaw sensor here. We can move the track map up here. So there's an example of another three gauge layout. So this looks similar to the, the three gauge layout that you have as preset, but it is again, fully customizable. What we'll also have is the ability for you to design this on a desktop or a laptop, upload your design to Podium and then have that dashboard layout as a personal preset, as opposed to a system level preset, like a universal preset, you'll be able to upload that to Podium and then synchronize that just like a CAN bus or OBD2 preset or a sensor preset. You'll be able to pull down the presets your and your personal presets and then see access that on your mobile device. So you can do the work designing the dashboard on one instance of the race capture app and then make that available on another. And then perhaps we'll even make those shareable with other people. So you could share those publicly or with your friends. We'll see how that goes. All right, now I'm going to remove all of these gauges and then show you the raw channels view. So the raw channels view is like that screen that shows just everything on the screen at once. So this is a, a reimagined version of that screen. It's a little bit uh, improved visuals and readability, but it is essentially the same gauge. So to get the equivalent of the raw channels view, you would just build this screen and make it the uh, the size of the screen itself. So just resize it completely. Uh, you can, of course, you can put some of that data on the screen and then add something else at the bottom. Let's see what we have. Um, you could put speed at the bottom. I need some better simulated data so I can. There we go. There, so now we have a blend of the raw channels view and a digital gauge on the screen. I think you kind of get the idea where we're going with this. And there you have it. So uh, what we're what we'll have going on. In upcoming the upcoming work, we need to do some additional work around allowing you to set the Z order. Right now, it's kind of 
kind of does it automatically based on what you click. But if, if you click on one widget, it brings it to the top. We need to do that kind of explicitly. So you could say move, move this one behind or bring another one forward. Uh, we have to work out how this plus and this gear icon for dashboard settings kind of bring those together into one point of access so you can edit or lock this database uh, database <laughs> uh, dashboard screen and then access uh, the ability to add new gauges and also add new dashboard pages which we don't have enabled exactly yet so these arrows don't do anything but what you'll be able to do is create a new dashboard page which will create a new layout and in there's no practical limit to the uh, number of uh, pages you can do. It's just kind of like the sky is the limit. And uh, a few other improvements. And then lots of testing. At some point, we'll make it available for beta testing so that you can start designing your own dashboards and testing it out and provide feedback. All right. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.